Hey, welcome back to the Vincify channel. So I have a new backpack here from One Tigers. So this is their Atkins backpack. And it's kind of a medium sized backpack, I would say. Um, it's a 12 liter. And it comes in brown, black. Uh, both have the camo right here. Um, I personally not a big fan of uh, camouflage, uh, but I know a lot of people are. And so this backpack, I think is gonna be more geared towards a military style and you'll understand more here in a bit. Um, there are two major um, things about this that really set this backpack out and make it really unique. Uh, and the first thing is gonna be that it has these attachments here. This is meant to attach this to a tactical vest. So what you do is you'd remove these um, backpack straps, the shoulder straps, by up top right here. Basically just take this off and then down below the same thing, just take that off. And then on the back of the tactical vest, you have a molly strap and basically you would weave this through that. And so the backpack will attach directly to the, the vest. And then up top, at this point, uh, what you do is they have some Velcro straps that you would basically loop through that. And then you would loop it through um, basically the shoulder section of the tactical vest. I don't have a tactical vest to demonstrate that on. Hopefully that description was enough to make sense. If not, I know they have a video of it on their website and on Amazon showing how to attach this to a tactical vest. So like I said, that's a really unique uh, feature about it, being able to do that. Um, again, that's why I say it's more geared towards military. And then on the bottom here, the next thing that's really unique about this backpack is that it has a helmet um, mesh kind of carrier here. So what you do, you snap this down here, and here, and then you can slide your helmet, and basically like this, slides right in, and then up top, you have two more points where you connect it, All right, then just like that, basically you can carry your helmet. You can see, again, these are adjustable, so you can tighten it down to make sure that your helmet's not going to uh, fall, out, fall out of there. So like I said, it's a really unique uh, feature that this backpack has. Um, I can see this being used not just for military, uh, especially with this uh, having the helmet um, mesh carrier there, but even like bicyclists or uh, snowboarders, anybody who has a sport where you need a helmet, this is a very convenient way to carry your helmet. So anyways, and then whenever you don't need that or if you don't use it at all, then it just stows down below. Out of sight. And so that's kind of cool too, that it's not just constantly out there and visible. All right, so the backpack has two pockets on the outside. One right here. And it's basically the exact size of right here where the camo is. There are no organizing pockets inside of that pocket. And the same thing up here. Um, you can see the, the approximate size of that pocket there. And also, there's no, no sleeves or anything for organizing. You have a large uh, section here for attaching a patch of any kind, like the one that I have on my website. And on this side, there is a, um, a bottle pocket here. And one of the things I like about this bottle pocket is that the rest of the material is kind of coarse. It's the uh, the 500D nylon, no stretch. Whereas right here where the, uh, the bottle goes, they have a stretchier material. And that's great because a lot of times um, these bottle pockets are either too big for your bottle or too small. Whereas like this, it's more there's more chance it's gonna conform to the shape of your bottle and then you can cinch it down to make sure that it stays in place. On this side of the backpack, they have um, a small little section basically here, the molly straps. Right now I have the backpack um, kind of packed with some some like hoodies and stuff. So just so you can kind of see the dimensions of it. I'll go ahead and pull those out and I'll show you the inside. All right, so the zippers open up just halfway. Um, I prefer the zipper to open up all the way. It gives you more access to everything inside. This one is halfway. Um, on the inside, there's basically just this one large uh, like puck on the back which can again be tightened down to make sure that you, whatever you have in there, it's not gonna fall out. Um, you can see right here that this is geared towards uh, carrying a water bladder. What you have here is we, you'd hang the water bladder from this little loop and then you could run the, um, the hoses through here. And right here, 
there is a little section to run that water hose out for hydrating. All right, and so that's it for the inside of the backpack. Um, there's no more, you see in the front, there's no organizing pockets in the front, uh, just that. So basically one large compartment and then one little pocket there in the back. And so that's all for the inside of this backpack. All right, so this backpack costs um, $60. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Let me know what you think about this backpack. What you think about it being able to attach to a tactical vest. Uh, if you think that's something useful or something not useful. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is removable. And so if you don't have a tactical vest, like me, then basically all you do is you'd unzip that and that would not carry around this unneeded um, connection there. And also if it is attached to your tactical vest, then you could, uh, this, this would be the way to remove it off your bag by just simply unzipping it. All right, so anyways, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about that helmet holder. Um, if that's something that you could see you using for sports or for airsoft or something else. And let me know all together what you think about this. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.